I could very well win 10p. That would be great. I know. Oh, 50p. I know. Or oh, £10. I know. If we take your logic, there could be £100, £500, £750 all in that box. I know. Don't take optimism too far. OK. £2,300, Shell. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> Three boxes now. Do not repeat your last game play, and we could be getting the next offer way up. Go. Number one. Box number one. You all right, Adrienne? I'm fine. Yes? How I'm... do you think she's doing? I think she's doing marvellous. Keep it great. Keep it low. You, Open box love. one. Ten pounds! Ten pounds, right. Next two. Do that again. You've got five chances of keeping it very low. Mm -hmm. You could afford the thousand and the three thousand in the keeping it low bracket. Don't go higher than that. The next one, please, Shell. Number 13, Lee. 13. Lee. Open box 13, please. Good luck. is becoming uncanny. Opening round, left. Second round, right. This round, you're back left. One more box. There's an offer coming. If you keep this up and keep it left, it's going to be a great offer. Raj, number four. Come on, mate. Ten P, please. Raj? Yeah. Keep it low. Open box four, please. 50,000. 50,000. Well, the lucky run had to come to an end sometime. Um, what do you think? Uh, I think I haven't got 50,000 in my box now. <laughs> yeah. Are you happy to lose that? But it's not the end of the world. No, it's not. There could be a quarter of a million pounds sitting there. Could be. Hello. You are his least favourite kind of opponent. thinks you're strong and confident and therefore very dangerous. He might be right. <laughs> he is inviting you to cut your losses, not run the risk. He thinks you're either going to go out of here with a lot of money or very little. And he's giving you the chance now, in exchange for that box, to go away with something significant. He is offering you, for this box, £6,600. Still don't take us both to America. It's real money. Mm hmm You've seen people go with less money than 6,000. I have. 600 pounds. And I've seen a game turn around completely. And you've seen a game turn around completely. Mm hmm I'm doing so well. You're doing so well, you think? Yeah, I think I'm doing well. You think you're doing well? Yeah. I could have 75,000. Yes. I have 20,000, 15,000 or 10,000, which are all more than the offer he's just made to me. Correct. 6,600 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> just 
hope. So glad. I hope you are not in the coming moments going to live to regret that. The next three, please, Shell. It's hard now, no. Yes. I just want each one of them who's got the four remaining small numbers to put your hands up. <laughs> if only. One if of them. only. Elaine, number 16, please. Come on, Elaine. Elaine? Huh? Number 16. No. Please open your box and keep it away from the quarter of a million or the 75. Go! Yes! yes! Back to the idea that it's on the left. Next one. Come on, come on, let's think this one through positively. Next one. Go, go, go. It's going to be... Elaine, number 17. Elaine, number 17. <sighs> Elaine. Will you please open box 17? We can afford 3,000, 1,000, 10p, 100, 500. We do not want to see a quarter of a million or 75,000 pounds. Elaine, open the box for us now, please. 15,000. <laughs> you can afford it. Yeah. yeah, at this stage in the game, you can afford it. The third one coming now, absolutely vital. This is the third one, and then we get the phone call from the banker. His last offer was 6,600. If you could keep this low, he has to go higher. Mally, number eight, please. Mally, welcome, Mally. Thanks, Noel. You are going to be pivotal at this point, your first starring role for us. And this has to be low. It has to be, yeah. Yeah. I just hope so. If you could avoid the quarter of a million or the 75,000, the banker is going to give her a real dilemma. And you can do it after the break. <laughs> Welcome back. Deal or no deal. Box number eight. It certainly feels heavy to me. Mally. This oh. is the moment where, please, avoid a quarter of a million or 75,000. It would be great if it was lower than 3,000. Shell is totally dependent upon you, Mally. Will you please open box oh. number eight? Five oh, what a dream! What a dream situation! This is the best. Could this be the show that beats the previous record of 33,000? Could it be the show where somebody wins a quarter of a million? Is there 250,000 pounds in here? Even 75,000 would sort out the mortgage and the holiday in America. It could be there. Could be. On this Wednesday afternoon, it could be there. Mm -hmm. The banker has to bear that in mind. I'll tell you something, he's taken a long time. He's got a lot to think about. I'll tell you, you've done us all a favour. You got him worried. <laughs> this could be one of the most important phone calls. Hello. Yes, you have every reason to be uneasy. He wants you out of the game. Thank you. The offer for this box now is £13,000. Thirteen thousand pounds. This is a good offer. Thirteen thousand pounds for a box that could contain ten p. That would be a result in anybody's book. Thirteen thousand pounds. Don't regret this deal or no deal. No deal. <laughs>
Next one. Next one. My Lisa, number two. Number two, Lisa. Lisa, you have the first of the next three boxes that will take us to the next banker's offer. Please open box number two. Let's have... 100 pounds! Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, this is amazing. This is, without a doubt, the most positive game we've had. I need to find that tempeed on her. It would be great. It would be uncanny. It would be extraordinary. Second box. Eddie, please, number seven. Eddie, open box seven. I hope so, babe. 75,000! Oh. Whoa! Wow! OK, you have one more before the offer. Needless to say, but I will. If this is 250,000, the 13,000 that you turned down is going to look like a really, really bad deal. Mm -hmm. You must not touch the quarter of a million now. The final selection before the call is what? Jennifer, 12. Jennifer. <laughs> I don't want to watch. You don't want to watch? No. Well, don't look, and I'll tell you what it is. Open the box. It's 3,000. <laughs> This is the key to success. There is now a 20% chance, Shell, that you could walk away this afternoon with £250,000. You made the right call at 13000 How do you feel? Excited. You're excited? Yeah. So am I. The reason I'm excited is we've not been in this position before. No. Hello. The banker is now offering you right now, the real sum of money of £19,900. You could have a quarter of a million in this box. I could. Why not? You could, tomorrow, have £19,900 in your bank account. I know what they want me to do. Everybody yes. wants me to do. Tempe, £1,000, £10,000, £20,000, £250,000. Could be. It could be. In that box. Could be. Are you ready to give me a decision? I don't want to go on with Tempe. Correct. Shell, 19000 Nine hundred pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> oh. I saw your lips forming deal. That is extraordinary. Right. We know these are the three most important decisions, selections, choices, boxes that you're ever going to have in your life. The first one is... John, number 11. Please. John. 
Please. Absolutely vital that it is not the quarter of a million. John, open box 11. Come on, John. 10,000! Yeah! You are one step closer to a quarter of a million pounds. Maurice, how do you feel? Morris, I want this to send you down Route 66. B10P. Number 18, Number is it? Number 18. Number 18? Oh, God. Until the seal comes off, you can change your mind. No, I'm not changing my You're mind. You're not changing your mind. It's box 18. Take the seal off, please, Morris. Morris, oh, this oh, must please, not be please, a quarter please, of a million please, pounds. Please. Open the box. Please. It is! Oh. Right, now, there is a point of recovery here. Mm. <laughs> the 20,000. Mm -hmm. It gets you off the hook. Mm -hmm. There is still a chance that 20,000 is sitting there. And how ironic would that be if it's been sitting there all the time? Bearing in mind you turned down a fraction under it. Mm -hmm. Give me a box now. Jam 19. It mustn't be the 20,000. Open box 19 now, please. Tempe! Yes! yes! This can go down as the deal or no deal, great escape. It's going to be an interesting offer, but you still have out there more money then you have declined. You've had good vibes about the box. But you thought it was a lot more than 20,000. How are you feeling? Sick. Are you? Yeah. If it's some consolation, you shouldn't feel sick, because actually I think this is an incredibly gutsy performance. <laughs> I really, really do. It's an incredibly gutsy performance. I'm just so pleased I don't have to face your dad. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, he agrees. Gutsy performance. OK. 7,500. 7,500 for that box. Have 20. Could have 20. I could have. Gambled so far. Big, big gamble. It didn't work. One more gamble might work. 1,000 is sitting in a box. 20,000 is sitting in a box. And nobody knows where it is. 7,500 pounds. It's in the banker's hand now. And he will hand it over to you on this Wednesday afternoon. Seven thousand five hundred pounds, deal or no deal. Tricky, isn't it? Mm. Tricky. Deal. I think, I think the way that's gone. Great bravery. Common sense at the end. I think that was a good, good move. Fantastic game. £7,500 is yours. Mm -hmm. And now, of course, we want to know whether having turned down 19900 and had all that misfortune, whether you should have played on. I wonder who got the best deal, you or the banker? It is vital that you only have 1000 in there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You want to know that seven and a half thousand pounds was a good call. Yes. And not a giveaway. Yeah. Shall I open it? You don't have to. I hope this is only a thousand pounds. It's twenty thousand. Oh no. The banker wins. 
the banker wins. The bank is victorious this time, but let's face it, 45 minutes ago, zero. Now, seven and a half thousand pounds, and I tell you, you've given us one <laughs> heck of a show and an incredible game. <laughs> Shell, seven and a half thousand pounds. Thanks, Ashley. She did well and gave us probably the most nail-biting show we've had. Seven and a half thousand pounds for Shell. I don't know about you, I'm drained. But I'll be back tomorrow and asking that self same question one more time. Deal or no deal? Don't you... What will happen just days before Victory Road? Bobby Roode and Nemesis Sting have their contract signing. And you can catch it here tomorrow night at 9, followed by the BAFTA Video Game Awards winners programme at 11. Also... Another back-to-back -back deal or no deal on Challenge. A quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes. No questions, except one. Deal or no deal. And I think we are still all emotionally drained after the drama of yesterday. Adrienne wanted to win a significant sum of money in order to secure her retirement. In the end, her nerve broke. She still took away £8,300, but she had had enough. And that's what this game is all about. Nerve and timing. We have 22 different sums of money, from 1p all the way through to the mighty £250,000. They're there on the game board. Each of these amounts is in one of these 22 sealed boxes. 22 different amounts of money in 22 boxes. And nobody knows which amount is in which box. One of our players is about to join me here at this table. And they will have a chance to win a huge sum of money if they can keep their nerve and trust their instincts. Time to find out who is playing today. On their way to a possible fortune, we have... Maidy! Yeah! <laughs> Maidy, welcome. Thank you. After all these weeks, it's finally your turn. First to be here. Dr. Mehdi Bulucci, originally from Persia, now lives That's in correct. West Sussex, owns a small engineering firm. Very small, yes. Biggest risk you ever took, in fact, was starting <clears throat> up that business two years ago. Indeed, yes. Why was it a risk? Well, uh, I have a family, as you know, with, with three kids. And I had a good job then. And I reached a point that it, it, I, it was a crossroad whether to start or not, give up a good job. And I started that, and it went well. So it was a big risk. What touch wood is doing well? I hope now it's mm -hmm. going to be payback time for you, and I hope you're going to swan through this with a glorious confidence. <laughs> Maidy, sir. Before we came on the air, before the show, you chose this box at random. Will you confirm that? Correct, no, yes. The independent adjudicator sealed your box, and indeed the 21 other boxes. That is the only individual who knows how much money is in any of these boxes. I don't know. The production team don't know. Most importantly, you don't know. No, and don't. most significantly, for your fortune over the next 45 minutes, the banker, who we will hear from after five boxes have been opened, also doesn't know the content of any of the boxes. We can follow the odds on you having something pretty spectacular in there through the game board. As you call each box, we see the sum of money, it'll be removed from the game board. Sure. It's as simple as that. Really good luck. Your Thank first you. five before the first phone call. Away you go. Mm. 
one, please. Open box one, please, Kai. Fifty. Yeah! Yeah! Second box. Sure enough. Fifteen, please. Box number fifteen. Becky, would you please open box fifteen? I will. I hope it's a low one. Keep it low, please. Ten pounds. Yeah! Very good. <laughs> Keep it blue. Eleven, please. Box number eleven, Jan. Keep it on the left-hand side. Keep it blue. Keep it low. Open it up, please. Thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five is not in your box. Next one. Sixteen, please. Box sixteen. Elaine, would you please open a box with a low amount of money in it? Fifty thousand pounds. In two boxes, you've blown a hole in the right-hand side. You've taken out the thirty-five thousand. You've taken out the fifty thousand. There's an offer coming in a moment after this box. Okay. It is absolutely vital that you don't continue this kind of self-destruction. Leave the bottom right block, and psychologically, it will give the banker a problem. This mustn't be seventy-five thousand, a hundred thousand, or two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Your fifth selection, please. Eighteen, please. Box number 18. Len, we really need blue, low, now. Good luck, Maddie. What? Yeah! <laughs> Couldn't do it better. <laughs> we now know, we now know that whatever happens, you haven't got one P in front of you. OK? Thank you for that. All right. OK. Well, we're ready for the opening shot from the banker. Remember, he is watching you very, very closely. I'm watching him. <laughs> Seriously. Anything that you would like the banker to consider in the way in which you're likely to play this game? Well, I hope he's going to be fair. That's all I'm asking, just to be fair. And it's worth him remembering that uh, you did at least have the guts <coughs> to uh, take a big swerve in life and set up your own business. Absolutely. So there's an entrepreneurial streak Correct. Which means there must also be a risk taking streak. That's correct. Worth this, this is a wonderful day. Yes, worth him remembering that he might have met his match. Hopefully. Good afternoon. Uh, he thinks you're an opponent worthy of his attention. I'm on it. Thank you. I am shocked. I think I've lost something here. I'm completely shocked. Um, you took out the 35,000, you took out the 50,000. <clears throat> You've got quite a few of the smaller numbers and the blues. But this is, by a massive margin, the biggest opening offer we've had. He's locking horns with you straight away at £6,900. Deal! Good <laughs> luck! <laughs> take it as a compliment. Whether you take it as a sum of money for that box now is up to you. He is asking you, really, uh, to pop off home. At £6,900, deal or no deal? No deal, no. Okay, here we go. This is going to be different. I sense this is going to be very, very different. OK? Gamble on. Ten, please. Would you please open box number ten and give the gambler a low figure? I will try. £5,000. <laughs> Second one. My please have number 14. Box number 14. 
Okay, Audrey. Open box 14, please. What? Yeah! I always wanted to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Tell me a bit more about your wife. <laughs> Third box. Come on, this is serious. This is really serious. It was an incredible opening offer. I mean it. The biggest ever opening offer. If you hit one of those three, it is going to go down. Seven, please, no. Box number seven. Jennifer, what do you think? I thought right from the beginning it might be low, but... You've had a feeling... Wrong, You've had a feeling that feeling. box number seven is low. OK. 6,900, biggest ever opening offer from the banker. He will have to go up. He has to go up. If 75,000, 100,000 or a quarter of a million are anywhere else other than in box seven. Join us after the break to find out oh. who this is. Gambler, and he's already drawn the banker. <coughs> the highest offer we've ever had at the beginning. £6,900 has been made. It has been rejected. He's on to a much bigger offer as long as there is not 75,000, 100,000 or a quarter of a million in this box. Disaster if there is. Jennifer, open box number seven, please. <sighs> That's where the quarter of a million pounds is. The gambler's luck. Ran out. Matey. No. What do you think? Uh, considering nobody has won a quarter million yet, I'm still in a good position. It is of paramount importance now that you do not lose those other two big numbers. Hello. <clears throat> oh, he thinks your poker face is slipping. I agree. Oh, he's about to be beaten by a better man, he says. I agree. Sixteen hundred pounds. Suddenly, in just three boxes, everything has shifted. There you go. Maybe sixteen hundred pounds, deal or no deal? Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take that as a no deal. Three to go. Three to go to try and swing it back the other way. Go. Eddie, 19, please. Eddie, would you please know. open box 19? go to swing the game back in your favor my neighbor John your second box again critical mustn't have the two big numbers The gambler now cannot take out both of the crucial big numbers that will allow you to take control of the game. 
your third and final selection, matey, before the next banker call. No, three, please. Lee? No. Lee, will you please open box number three? 75,000! What are you thinking? I'm thinking, will I have enough to buy a round of drinks tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget, you still could win a hundred thousand pounds. In the region of ten percent, your chances of winning a hundred grand this afternoon. You still have a significant number of lower numbers to play with and not damage the one hundred thousand. Correct. That will be in the banker's mind. He, however, is very much in the driving seat. It would require you to continue and take out three lower numbers for you to start to get back any sort of ground that you've now lost. So think about it, matey, Over. when it comes. Can I have a chat with him? Can you chat with him? He might not want to talk to you. I'll, I'll ask the question. Hello. Hello. Uh, just before you say anything, Mady has just <coughs> asked if he can talk to you. He says no. He says you're no longer worth his while. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He says he's going to enjoy sending you home with the smallest amount of money that anybody has accepted. He thinks that you are going to accept this sum of money. Despite the fact that it would actually be the lowest exit fee that we've ever had. £4,800, matey. Oh. To go. Slam the door. Bye-bye. Gambler's out. Let's crack on. Let's do other things. That's what he's saying. Doesn't think you're worthy. Doesn't want to even talk to you on the phone. £4,800, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> three to go to the next offer. In the next three boxes, don't touch the 100k. Mm -hmm. At least that offer is still going to stay there. Correct. And it's almost certainly going to improve. Number 22, please. Number 22. Jane, would you please open box number 22, and please, it mustn't be 100K. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Five yeah! Months. Next one. Next one. 17. Karen, oh. number 20, you said, or 17? 17. 17. 17. Number 17. No. Mally, go on. <laughs> open 17. Oh, that's 3,000 yeah! pounds. You can stand that. You can stand £3,000, because you haven't Lisa, taken the 100 And Lisa, it's all on this. No pressure, <laughs> all on this. Mustn't be £100,000, and the offer has to go up from the banker. Open box number four, please. One yeah! This is worth 250,000 on its own. <laughs> Why did that not come as a surprise to me? <laughs> Have you finished? Well, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, Mally was very good to you. You don't want to go give him a little kiss? <laughs> I think you take it the wrong way. Right. The board, seriously now, the board has swung in your favour. Your chances of winning at least £20,000 or 25%. That would be nice. Yep, it would be very nice. And the other thing which is good news, mm -hmm. 
your general attitude, it's worrying me. I think it's terrifying him because it's his money. If he thinks you are here just for the game, rather right. than take a few bob away, well, it is nice. You make a very frightening opponent, I tell you. <laughs> Hello. Right. He clearly is aware he's up against a gambler. I want you to think about this offer very, very carefully. Purge your mind of all other thoughts, because it is a very significant offer. Can you clear your brain? I'll give you the break to clear it completely. Oh, no. Welcome back to Deal or No Deal at a really critical time. Maydee, have you cleared your mind of all other thoughts? Yes. This is a very, very interesting offer from the banker. If you accept this offer and say, deal, it'll all be over. If you say no deal, you will have to open the three more boxes and you run the risk of hitting the 100,000. The fact it is still there now is the reason why the banker is offering the ace gambler a £10,000 increase on his last offer. £14,800 for that box and you to go home. I'm impressed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Banker. There are five sums of money lower, only three sums of money greater than the offer that is now real money on this table. 14,800, deal or no deal? No deal. Yeah. Right, come on. Come on, come on. The atmosphere in here is... Just incredible. Come on, then. Come on. We just want this gamble to play off. Your honesty has to be rewarded. You're in it for the gameplay and the gamble. The next three, you've got to stay away from it. Come on. It was the pace last time that seemed to work. Don't sink. Come on. Energy. 13, please. 13. 13. All you've got to do, Elaine, all you've got to do is stay away from the 100,000. Go. 20,000. Yes. Fine. Next one. Next one. Five. Box five. Raj, this mustn't be a hundred thousand. It's a little one, man. Come, Come on. on. Yeah! Come on! Only one more. Only one more. He's declared himself not a player, a gambler. Will the gamble pay off? This box mustn't have it. Third and final choice. Then we get the phone call. Phone call of your lifetime. What's it going to be? Karen, 20. 20. Karen, open box 20. It mustn't be £100,000. Yeah! Yeah! Right. I tell you something, you <coughs> took one heck of a risk there. <coughs> uh, what are you thinking? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Right. You don't have to have the big money in your box. It just has to be out there and you have to avoid it. And you have done that by taking what can only be described as a very brave gamble. There is one person, however, who is absolutely livid. Hello? You 
won back his respect. Thank you. Yeah, you got a gambler. Today, this afternoon, you got yourself a gambler. This offer he described as cast iron set in stone. The offer is £28,000. Stay on your own, or do you want help? Help, please. Help? Mass help? Right wing? At £28,000, deal or no deal? Deal. Without a shadow of a doubt, deal. 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 No deal. 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 No deal. 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 Enough? <laughs> Left wing? Reg? You asked me today, didn't you, what I'd do if I was in your position, whether say and may they go for a man. No deal. Yes. No deal. You're the luckiest man here, Maidy. You, you know that. Andy. No deal. If you believe you've got it, it's no deal. I guess no. Are you, are you asking me or making me? You say deal. <laughs> <laughs> deal. 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 No deal. Jan. Maybe you always said you'd see it through to the end, and I think you will. Yes, sir. Rob, I desperately don't want him to go home with nothing, but I think he should no deal. I think it's there to be taken. John? No deal. Rita? I'd say go for it, maybe. Go for go it, for Lisa. Darling. He's the only person that has said no deal to every other contestant. I think he should take his own advice. Before I ask for your decision, Maidy, let's just put this in a context. Nobody has ever turned down a banker's offer of this size. Every other player offered anything anywhere near £28,000 as said deal. I don't think it would be a loss of face if you decided now you were going to go back to being a player. I really, really don't. So bury any ego would be my advice. But if you're a natural gambler, there is only one result. I almost don't want to ask you the question. <laughs> but at £28,000, maybe deal or no deal? No deal. Extraordinary. Absolutely extraordinary. Nothing's changed. All you've got to do is stay away from the 100,000. These are now the most critical three boxes we have had in the short history of this game. Nine. Andy. Just mustn't be a hundred thousand. See the fiver. See the fiver. It mustn't be one hundred thousand pounds. Open the box. Yeah! Next one, matey. Sam. Please. Sam, would you please open box number six?
Last box before the offer. Eight, please. We have three boxes here. They contain five pounds, fifteen thousand pounds, or a hundred thousand pounds. You have avoided the one hundred thousand pounds not only proved you are a meteoric gambler, but you are going to be receiving undoubtedly the biggest offer ever. Probably the most difficult decision of your life is whether you're going to take it. It all hinges on, Rob, you not having the £100,000. Oh, I desperately don't want to have it. Would you please open box number eight? Oh, you. We're with you. Gambler's luck finally ran out. Yeah, just keep it brief. <sighs> oh, he said that with so much relish. 28,000 had come up from 14,800, which in itself had risen from an offer that was the lowest that anyone had ever gone away with. He is now replicating that by way of apparently teaching you a lesson. £4,800 is the offer for you to go now or stick with it because you have to believe there is something more in that box there. At £4,800, deal or no deal? I think I have had a bad run, so I'm going to call it a deal. At least I buy a few drinks tonight. So, deal. Deal at £4,800. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really wanted more. Thank you, mate. I really wanted more. Thank you. I really, I really, really wanted for you much, much more, but I hope. Flipping back to just being the player, just being the player. It's difficult, isn't it? But throwing away the mantle of the gambler, I hope you timed that decision right. £4,800 is yours. Thank you. What I don't want to find is that in this box, right now, <clears throat> there is £15,000. Because that really would be a sting in the tail that you do not deserve. So could we have some positive thinking, guys, that this is just a fiver? Yep. Ready? Yes. I want it to be the fiver. exciting game. The ultimate justice, as far as I'm concerned. You sold a box with £5 for £4,800. Thank you. That is the mark of a gambler. Meadie! Yeah. I don't know about you, but I am totally drained after that. <laughs> ah. What do you reckon? Exhausted. Yes. Exhausted.
And here he is, our ace gambler, who goes away with £4,800. <laughs> but remember, he turned down £28,000 because he's got nerve. And in the end, his timing was OK. Don't miss Deal or No Deal. Quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes. And no questions. Except one. Deal or no deal? Welcome to Wednesday. Deal or no deal, you are very welcome to our seriously addictive little entertainment drama. And why is it proving so addictive for so many millions of people every day when the threat of failure is omnipresent, when the chance of success seems to elude so many people, and when we all find it so emotionally draining? But you're here, and I'm here, and we're going to try again to find the big money. It's out there somewhere, and today could be the day that one of our players really does have a life-changing moment. 22 identical sealed boxes. Indeed, 22 different sums of money. We've proved it's possible to win just one P. And we've proved it's possible to win £120,000. But so far, no one has actually taken the quarter of a million. We're overdue for that moment. It could be today. I hope it's today. Let's play Deal or No Deal. We need a player. So, hello to... Michael. <laughs> Michael, would you please care to join me? Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. I've even managed to raise a smile. Well done. Well done. Make uh, yourself comfortable. By the way, I may wander around a bit, if that's OK. I think better on my feet. Absolutely. You can, uh, you can do whatever you want, actually. OK. And you've brought a picture with you. More than one. Have we got time for it? Yeah, absolutely. Well, basically, the, uh, the bedrock of my life is my family. The reason it's my bedrock is that uh, I've had the greatest good fortune in marrying an amazing wife, uh, the best wife I think that any man could wish for. She's loving and caring, very stylish, a great mother, a skilled cook, a qualified gardener. Uh, she's into Pilates and daily swimming. Uh, and she and I have had two talented, loving sons. Uh, and I've got uh, also a terrific daughter-in-law. And I have our first granddaughter, Lucia. And here is Lucia. Beautiful. Beautiful. With my son oh, and beautiful. my... There you go. Turn around there. That is an absolutely lovely picture. Thank you very much. And I hope they bring you a great deal of good luck okay. this afternoon. And then a little more information. Michael Daly lives in the Cotswolds. Uh, used to run two advertising companies. Married to Judith, who you've mentioned. He says he's been very lucky. He's actually had three... Brushes with serious no. death or injury. That's only a, a pricey of information. Seven brushes. Seven. Yeah. <laughs> We're very lucky to have you here today. <laughs> I, I'm very lucky to survive. You're quite right. Yes, I, I feel I'm being... I, perhaps if I was like the people who believe in mysticism and fate and all that, maybe I was being held back for this very day. Who knows? 
Michael, right. you have brought already a very different flavour mm -hmm. to so many games. And I think the relationship between you and the banker is going to be one of the most fascinating that I've had a chance to observe. So, as you know, we start with something very simple. Mm -hmm. And that is your confirmation that this box was chosen by you at random before the show. It was. It was sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals all of the boxes, and the other 21 players also chose their boxes at random. Nobody knows where the money is. Most significantly, the banker does not know where the money lies. What we are going to do is open the boxes in the order that you select and we will begin to uncover where the money lies. That will give the banker an idea as to how much money he is going to have to pay you in order to get that magic four-letter word from your lips. OK. And Excellent. I say, good luck to the banker. <laughs> I think he's got a very worthy foe. Michael, the game is yours. OK. We're going first to Liz. No gameplay, just the way you're feeling this afternoon. <coughs> you will, being as observant as you are, you will see how things develop. Thank you. Mmm, intriguing. It is intriguing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Liz, would you please start Michael's game by opening box number seven? With a low one, I hope. The quarter of a million. <laughs> Yet, again, the quarter of a million is the first box we open. It is the second time this has happened this week. It is not always regarded as a disaster, and some people regard it as a blessed relief. <laughs> I'll reserve my opinion on that. Next one, please, Michael. Vanessa. You are the one. You are the one with the number one. Need you to keep it very low, please. Fifty pounds. <laughs> That's better. I don't know why, but for a horrible moment, I thought it was going to be the hundred thousand as well. I thought, of all the people, we do not want you picking off all the big numbers in round one. Certainly not. No. I want to see how this gameplay of yours swings between the two elements. Mm -hmm. Third box, please, Michael. I'd like to welcome the charming Aileen. Aileen. Number 20. Okay. Welcome to the game. Thank you, No. Would you please keep it blue, keep it low, and open box number 20. 100 pounds. <laughs> Excellent. So, apart from the fact that you took out the quarter of a million, you have blown a very nice large hole mm -hmm. on the left-hand side. Probably a good idea to make it even larger. Your next selection, please. Jules. I'm with you all the way, all right? Okay. Good luck. Let it rip. Julie. <laughs> Feel free to let it rip. <laughs> 15,000. That's okay. I really can't see this system, but anyway, where are you going now? Marie. Very nice lady. Thank you. Marie, will you please open box 21 and bear in mind, after this one, we get our first phone call. And if we lose another big number, he's going to be gloating yet again. Yeah. Please open box 21. I wish you so much luck. Thank you. 50 feet. <laughs> Perfect. OK. I don't think there's any point in fibbing about this. You did show real signs of disappointment when the quarter of a million went, particularly when it went right at the very beginning of the round. We can do away with the other red. That's not a problem. You've taken out three blues. That feels pretty good to me. Good start. How do you feel about it? I feel very content. Content? Yes. That's very good. I like that. It's right up there with comfortable. <laughs> How's he going to read all this? Oh, 
that was quick. Mm. Great well, reader, obviously. I'll take the call. Hello? Well, well, well. Good afternoon. Please don't dispense with the uh, pleasantries. I'm very well, thank you. And, and poised to have a fab afternoon and really, really enjoy this little battle. Mm hmm. Well, that was quite complex and lengthy. He acknowledges the fact that clearly you have family values and your family is your bedrock. Mm -hmm. He is offering £2,300 at this stage. What do you want to do? Do you want to have a chat about it? Do you want to discuss it with people? I think, as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing to discuss. I don't think we need to prolong this. Michael, £2,300. Deal or no deal? No deal. £20,000, <laughs> the three big ones are still there. The game is in its infancy. It is not a disaster to have lost the quarter of a million. It would be very bad news for Michael if in the next three boxes we pick off big numbers. So, where are we going then? I think uh, we should go to Mumtaz. Mumtaz, would you please open box number 12? <laughs> After the initial shock and disappointment of losing the quarter of a million, now everything is going your way. That was really, really good news. Ready? Yes, please. Arlette. Sir. Could we have box 16, Arlette? Mm -hmm. Would you please try and find something £10,000 or less? Bon chance. 100000 oh. The 100000 is gone. Round one, the quarter of a million. Round two, the 100,000. 75,000 is the biggest sum out there, backed up, admittedly, by 50,000 and 35,000. There's some sturdy foot soldiers there, isn't there? Yep, yep. absolutely. Okay. Your foundations are pretty solid. But okay. don't do one of them now. Do not do one of the big numbers now. Well, Jill and I will try together not to do that, won't we, Jill? Yes. OK. Jill. Bestow upon this box your beautiful smile. Jill, keep that smile going <laughs> throughout the commercial break. Well, an interesting system. It all started with Dave, you see, who came here, sat down, and then just counted his way along the boxes. One, two, three, four, five. He missed out nine, just as well, because it had the quarter of a million, would have destroyed his game. And then we had Gavin, and he did even numbers, up and odds down. And now Michael's introduced the gender game. <laughs> and we've arrived at Jill. And in all seriousness, this must not be one of the big numbers, Jill. Otherwise, Michael's game starts to disintegrate. Would you please open box number eight? We would love to see one of the low numbers. There's plenty of them. Here's hoping this is low. Good luck, Michael. 75,000. You took out the quarter of a million at the top of the first round. In the second round, you've taken the 100,000 and the 75,000. How do you feel? Well, I think at this rate, after four rounds, I'll be broke, basically, won't I? <laughs> but 
Let's await the call. It wasn't a huge opening offer. This won't be uh, much more than half, I wouldn't think. 2,300 was the offer which yeah. didn't attract you at all, didn't involve any cranial activity whatsoever. <laughs> totally quiet in there it was. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Tumbleweed between the ears. He's having another good week. That's what he I is, don't like. Isn't he he yeah. is having another good week. Mm. Hello. Hello. I, I thought you'd be enjoying this game, Mr. And Michael knows you're enjoying this game. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to ask him? Have women always treated you this badly? <laughs> Never, ever. <laughs> no, this is a first. Hmm. OK. OK, thank you. He says it's a fair offer. Um, we're in... We're in d difficult territory because of those big numbers. Yeah. He's, he's offering you £1,900. Okay. Same applies as before. No cranial work at all? No. No cogs whirring? Nope. No advice required? Nope. Happy with the loneliness of the decision? Absolutely. We might as well crack on. £1,900, we deal or no deal? No deal. What's coming, Linda, don't you? I do. Are you missing out, Anne? Oh, sorry, Anne, I do <laughs> apologise. You've become so familiar to me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. We've only met for a few days, but we feel as though we know each other rather well, don't we? We do, Anne? actually, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we do. So well that he couldn't even see you there. <laughs> this worries me. I was sleeping ahead a bit, I have to admit. There yeah. could be a rather nasty <laughs> situation developing here. No, it will, it will make no difference to my choice of boxes at all. Sure. No, yeah, we go, sure. Anne, now, yeah. OK. I mean, we could go to Linda if you felt nope, superstitious nope, about it and then come nope. back to Anne. Not at all. Go for Anne. The girls have been rather bad news for him. So, Anne, would you please reverse that situation, change his fortunes by finding one of the low numbers in box number six. Thank you. £500. <laughs> And now we're at Linda. Yep, we've arrived at Linda's at last. The penultimate lady. Would you reveal the contents of the container? Good luck, Michael. Thank you. Five thousand pounds. That's all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jessica. Fairly new. Still fresh to the game. Track record not too good, though. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> this one's low, I know. <laughs> Terrible. Well, absolutely. Did I hear something? This one's low. It's good it's or low. bad? Low. I think it's good. I OK. Think it's I hope, Jessica, that you are in tune today, because we do not want to take out the 50,000 or the 35,000 at this stage. OK. Fingers Would you crossed. please open the box? Three thousand. Well, okay. Red, but it's a low red. This could still be a strong game. Could be. Has the makings. I really enjoyed uh, the way you started this show, talking about your family. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I thought was interesting is your ambition that you would like to go to the Antarctic. I would. Why? Last great wilderness, unspoilt. Not many people have been there, although the numbers are obviously increasing. Uh, the place of uh, the exploits of two of my heroes, Scott and Shackleton. 
Shackleton, I agree. My number one, Shackleton. Absolutely. What a man, what a leader. What never, strength of mind. Never quite achieved the goal, but brilliant in recovery. Absolutely, yeah. At which point do we get the brandy and cigars out? <laughs> I don't know, we're waiting to hear from him, aren't we? He's probably puffing away as we speak. We should do that sometime. Yeah. We should have an evening and have a chat about Shackleton. OK, let's do that. Hello. Mm-hmm. Quality opponent. Thank you. Nothing has changed, despite the absence of the big numbers. Nothing has changed in terms of his regard for you. And we're starting to move into interesting, challenging territory mm -hmm. with the offers for the box. Yep. Which we now know doesn't have a quarter of a million in it, or a hundred thousand in it. And Michael, he is now offering you eight thousand nine hundred pounds. What a tempter. Eight thousand nine hundred. I have no idea what a trip to Antarctica costs. I went. Hmm? Oh, you've been there? I've been. Yeah? Unfortunately, my former employer paid. <laughs> and I right. can tell you, I hope, ignoring your other ambition, which we'll talk about in a moment, I hope you get sufficient money to make that trip because there is no other place on Earth like Antarctica. Right. Well, that uh, sum of money is, would, uh, if I could persuade my wife to join me, which I might not be able to, she doesn't like the cold very much, uh, that, would, that would pay for both of us and certainly uh, allow me to go in great style. Michael, 8,900 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> Michael, mm -hmm. you have declined 8,900 pounds. We continue. Yep. Three boxes, and we know we don't want to see. Jerry? You're in the seat. So, having been let down by the ladies, we now need the gentleman to turn your game around and make sure you go away. A huge amount of money. Absolutely. Jerry? Very simple. Away you go. Thank you. Good luck, Michael. 250 pounds. So far, so good. The gentlemen are doing what the ladies failed to do. I assume, John. Correct. John, would you please do it for the guys? Well, I hope I can continue the run, Michael. 20,000. That's all right. It's OK. Yeah, it's OK. Always gets the same reaction, but it's OK if there are two above. Alan? Alan, this has been working quite well. We do not want you to break the sequence. Nor do I. Can't be the fly in the ointment. No. Do not break the sequence. We're having a break. We're having a break. <laughs> <laughs> And Michael is playing a dangerous game in that it's down to just two of the big sums of money. Alan, we have to find a low number in box 14. Please open it now. Best of luck, Michael. One pound. <laughs> One pound. Still four blues to bet. And I wonder how 
much stronger the banker feels your position is. Do you have a feel for it, Michael? Uh, his track record is not good in this area. Correct. Except when he doesn't know how to play the player. He's pondering, I see. <clears throat> he is pondering. Or just keeping us waiting. No. No, he's in pondering territory. OK. Interesting situation. He, too, is an admirer of great leaders and determined individuals. He's made that clear. It could be to your benefit. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He wants you to consider, uh, bearing in mind his description, not mine, you are the father figure of the group, uh, how you leaving with a low sum of money would impact upon morale going forward. I don't know whether that is a consideration. I'm sure that's true. Um, I think this is regrettable. He's increasing his offer to £9,900. Mm -hmm. OK. Can we dwell on that for a bit? Well, it's probably the appropriate moment to mention something else which I find very attractive about the way you've presented yourself and your situation. 26th of February, it's not far away now. No. Is your 40th wedding anniversary. It certainly is. And you've already spoken in very glowing terms about your wife, mm -hmm. Judith, and you would like to hold a very special family occasion. Yes, uh, certainly for my immediate family, you know, there's Judith, my two sons, my daughter-in-law, and by then, two grandchildren, but also to include my extended family as well, if possible, if affordable. But the reason I said earlier that it was very flexible, I mean, the point is that I may win enough to go down to the pub with them, or I may, no, not now, uh, originally I thought, well, I might win enough to take a few days on Branson's and Necker Island. I think that's out of the question now. But what I'm saying is that, uh, bearing in mind whether I go to the Antarctic or not, uh, I would obviously like to do the very best to make it a wonderful, memorable celebration with the actual available money. That's my ambition, yeah. Just shy of £10,000. Mm -hmm. You might be able to do both things. Oh, I could, undoubtedly. Yes, I could. Good. Michael, £9,900. Real money, deal or no deal? Deal. Very Shackleton. Only took the risks that were necessary. Michael, you've given us a very, very different game. And I, for one, am enormously grateful to you. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much indeed. OK. Thank you for sharing so much of you and your family with us. Mm -hmm. Because I think it puts £9,900 in a perfect context. Right. And now, however, it's back play to on. what the game is all about, and we need you to play on as if you didn't say deal. And there can be no doubt here as to whether uh, or not I would be pursuing the same box sequence. Yep. So we now need the gentleman to go for the big numbers and validate the decision you have just made. 
Robbie, you're a big man. <laughs> Give me a big number. Yep, we want to see 50,000 or 35,000. We would start to be in just paradise territory. 35,000! You now would have been in trouble. You now would have been on the edge of an all-or-nothing game. Teetering, teetering on the edge. Teetering. You would have been on the knife edge Absolutely. of those dreams and ambitions being beyond your grasp. Vaughan. He's the man. Would you open box number two? We want to see 50,000. 750. Okay. All right. We need to see the 50,000 now, Miguel. Otherwise, the next offer would have increased and would have increased Michael's opportunities of having even bigger dreams fulfilled. We now want you to reveal 50,000. 10,000. <laughs> it would have been, at this stage, an all-or-nothing game. Mm -hmm. And this is the offer you would have received from the banker at this point. Thank you. There may be some comfort in this. £12,000. OK, £12,000. I personally would take heart from that because yeah. you're almost at 10,000 with Absolute, what you've received. Absolutely. So it wouldn't have been a huge amount no, more money. I think uh, the banker has again been very fair. OK. And if we play on from this point. OK, well. Um, you did deal one deal too soon. But now. We really do not want to get to the point where we find that actually <laughs> you threw away over forty thousand right. pounds. Mm -hmm. Geordie, we want to see the fifty k right now. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Very, very good. And the next one. Open. Box 22, Jim. The thousand would have gone. It gets better and better. The Michael story has unfolded with a wonderfully positive final chapter. We're going to have the fairy tale ending. Andrew, would you please open box number five? The one P was there. And so. Throughout this game, <laughs> you've either had <laughs> 10 pence or, 10, or pounds. 10 pounds. You've never had the sort of fortune that it would have been worth gambling for. Right. <laughs> At this point, the banker would have offered four quid. <laughs> four pounds at this point. And at this point, would you have played on or would you have <laughs> cut and I run? I would have said... Noel, please open my box for me. £9,900 is safe and secure. Yep. Either you've had £10 or 10 pence in here throughout mm -hmm. the game. Whichever way you look at it, you've done a demon deal in selling a box. And it had <laughs> 10 pence. <laughs> you sold a 10 pence box for £9,900. And I'm very happy about that. And the man who had two advertising businesses did an extraordinarily good commercial deal there. Thank you very much. Indeed. Very good. Yep. It's been a great game. Yeah, I've but enjoyed it. more than it. that, it's been a real pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Thank you for being a great player in okay. our series and contributing so much to it. Yeah. Persuade Judith to go. Mm -hmm. She'll have a great time. OK. Thank you very much. Spend the money wisely. Michael, £9,900. It was a great deal. Thank you. Great deal. And let's have a look and see what Terry had in that box for. We know it was the mighty sum of £10. What a charming, charming gentleman. Who, thanks to this show, is going to realise two of his ambitions. To go to Antarctica and to have a fantastic 40th anniversary. I think that's what this show is all about, meeting your own ambitions 
and dealing at the right time for you. What will happen tomorrow? Will someone throw caution to the wind and go for the big money? You never know. And you'll never know if you're not with us. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. More deal or no deal on Challenge. A quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes. And no questions. Except one. Deal or no deal. been the bankers week we've had one player go away with a fiver and then poor old Nick became our first ever one pence winner however yesterday we were so pleased for Dave because Dave managed to sell a box that actually contained just 10p for 20,000 pounds that's one back at the banker now we want to really conclusively beat him on this Friday remember it's all about keeping the nerve and timing the deal at exactly the right moment. As always, we have those 22 identical boxes. Nobody knows where the money is, but we do know there are 22 different sums of money, ranging from Nick's 1p to the quarter of a million. The odds say it is becoming increasingly likely that one of you is going to go away with a life-changing sum of money. But first, we have to find out who is going to play, deal or no deal. Could this be a life-changing moment for... Pat! <laughs> Pat, please come and join me. Welcome. Thank you very much. Very no. popular. <laughs> Pat Stenning Hawks. Yeah, that's posh, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It is great. Uh, from London, currently a professional bingo caller. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. <laughs> Sorry. This sounds a bit of a. Yes, OK. You brought up with you not only the box, which you will confirm you chose at random before the show. I did. A piece of paper. Yes. <laughs> And it seems to have my name on it as well. <laughs> OK, so this is numerology. Right. So, numerologically, you and I are very compatible, but astrologically, we are incompatible, so you can take that as you like it. And basically, um, being a bingo caller, I wanted to do this as a bingo game, yeah? And, uh, yeah. So, tell me about this compatibility, then. OK, well, we're both born on the 22nd. Mm -hmm. um, well, you look at it for yourself, see? This is our chart, and the more um, similar these two charts are, it means that somebody's meant to be in your life. It's just you're walking the path a little way together, so you're going to be important in my life, and probably because of this programme. You know, there's things... Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, I always start things and never know how to finish. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> the first five boxes, keep them low, and then we get an offer from the banker. You're on your own with this game, Pat. <laughs> 
please Go come on, back. Open, <laughs> open box number one. Which way are you going? So, my first number on its own. <laughs> on its own, number seven, please. And that's Lindsay, please. On its own, number seven. <laughs> all on its own, number seven. Lindsay. Have you understood any of this? <laughs> I think I'll giggle along with the rest of them, actually. But yes, very Right, Lindsay, this is a very serious game. It means a lot to Pat. Let's open the first box in this game. Lindsay, thank you. Good luck. Ten pounds. <laughs> good start. That's a good start, isn't it? Very good start. Second box. OK. Yes. Uh, this is another on its own, and it's... Uh, Jerry, on its own number three, please, Jerry. Jerry, hopefully it's lucky and low. Roger. Seven hundred and fifty. Got a blue one. Good. <laughs> okay, the next one is. Uh, so it's, it's one and five, fifteen. Andrew, please. Andrew, we do not want to see a high number. Keep it on the left hand side. She's had a fantastic start. Would you please open box number fifteen? Oh, the quarter of a million in round one. Ah, oh, we've avoided yeah. that situation for quite a mm. while. Yeah. Some people feel the pressure is off once we've found it. Yeah. And who wants to be a quarter of a millionaire anyway? All those begging letters. All those men after me. No, I couldn't cope with it. <laughs> oh, I think you could. <laughs> OK. So our next number, fourth number, it's on its own. And it's number one, Jill, please. Number one. OK, you've taken up the quarter of a million. We must keep the 50,000, 75,000 and 100,000 in the game so we do not want to discover one of those big numbers. Box number one, would you please open it, Jill, and make sure it's not one of the big numbers. Good luck, Pat. Thank you, Jill. 250. Well done. Thank you, Jill. That's good. Okay, this is a house that I lived in. I grew up in this number till I was 18. So it's always been quite a special number for me. Where is it? So one and six, 16, please, Alan. Your former home. Yeah, till I was 18. So it's quite a long time ago. But <laughs> Alan, let's try and complete this round with another low number. It will put Pat in a very strong position with the banker. Open box 16. I'm doing my best. Good luck, Pat. 5,000. It's okay. It's fine. That's cool. That's fine. Okay. It's fine. Thank you, Mel. Right then. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, three blues have gone. Unfortunately, the quarter of a million. But in some respects, you almost feel as if you're blossoming a bit. Yeah. You've got rid of it. It's not in that box, but this box could contain 100,000 and 75,000 and 50,000. So that's good news. And the longer those three, you know, you've seen... How many shows have you done now? It's my, I think, my 18th show. Right. So, you know, the longer the banker has to fear the big money is here, the better the office. And also, he is as susceptible as any man. And he has been watching you. Mm -hmm. He has wanted to understand your thinking. Here we go. Here we go. OK. Mr. Beginning, Banker. the beginning of the real action. OK. Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to Pat's Game. I'm very well, and she's radiant. Twinkling, I would say. Oh, right. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> and here I quote the offer to beautiful, wonderful Pat is £2,200. That's very nice. Um, but I haven't come for £2,200. I've come to play the game, and I'm not even going to waste your time deliberating on that, so would you like to just ask me the question, please? Straight away. So, we'd better crack on. Yeah. £2,200 you have been offered. Deal or no deal? No deal. Exactly. <laughs> My sixth number, one and two, is 12, and that's Vaughan. Thank you, Vaughan. Please open box number 12. 
Okay, Pat, good luck. One point. <laughs> I'm not 1P Pat anymore, am I? Nope, you're not 1P Pat. That's good, isn't it? Yes, but there's, a, there's quite a way to go. I know, but I've got four blues off and two reds. Yeah. That's great. And yeah, six. It's okay. lovely. It's lovely. Okay, this is a mystical number, everybody. Number 11. What's mystical about 11? Oh, I don't know. In numerology, Elvis and, Pro Elvis and Jesus are 11. What are we talking about, Jesus and Elvis? I know. How does that work? Well, they changed the world, didn't they? Imagine the world without Elvis. Well... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OK. <laughs> Can you open box number 11, please, Marie? And keep it low, please! Good luck. Oh, God. <laughs> £10,000! Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Thank you, that's fine. Fine. No problem. Okay. No problem. Yeah. We're all right. Yeah. We're okay. Yeah. There's something going on here. There's a sort of there's an atmosphere. You're creating your own good fortune. How you're doing it? Only Elvis knows. <laughs> okay. So unlucky for some. One and three. Thirteen. Julie, please. Okay, Julie. Good luck. Okay. It is absolutely vital that this is a low number. Try. Don't Please, worry. don't spoil anything. In fact, don't do anything <laughs> until after the break. <sighs> See you in a moment. Be worm-free. Now available in dog-friendly bone shape. Contenders, are you ready? It's the Battle of the Breakfasts, brought to you by Nestle Cereals. Blueberry Alert, it's Muffin the Mighty. And Superboy Shreddies. This looks interesting. Here are the numbers. Calories, sugar, fat, sat fat, salt, surprising stuff. Oh, he's got her already. How's she going to respond to that? With a blueberry. Oh, and look, nice dodge. How will your breakfast match up? For more nutrition info, go to battleofthebreakfasts.co.uk. We've got big deals on hundreds of products. This week, our succulent British beef frying steak is half price. The cooperative. Good with food. Gate Follow On Milk provides your baby with iron for brain development, calcium and vitamin D for strong bones, and helps promote healthy digestion. Cow and Gate Complete Care, because healthy babies are happy babies. <laughs> Instant beef gravy paste made with proper meat juices for a proper meaty taste. Jesus, celebrating 75 years of the lighter way to enjoy chocolate. Hi, Mum. Hi, Buse. How are you? Yeah, smashing. That's a bit weird. What's that? There's nothing weird about this, though. Floor cuisine, 45% less saturated fat than olive oil. Really? Yeah. It looks weird. Look, you've got to admit. See how it's gone clear? I'm looking up your little digger. I'm 36. I've got two kids. Have you gone mad? Still my baby. Hey! Naughty. New Flora Cuisine. 
is star treatment for the hearts you love. Imagine the unspeakable beauty of the universe he sees. My son doesn't even talk. Your son sees everything. You're telling me my son can predict the future. All these phone had numbers on them. What if he's trying to communicate? Time to date. It's all connected. Whatever it is, it's supposed to happen today. The 318. How did you do that? Touch. Brand new drama starts Tuesday at 8 on Sky 1 HD. The Australian Grand Prix. With interactive race control via the red button. Get in-depth race day coverage. Live and uninterrupted. Only on Sky Sports F1. Race day. Tomorrow morning, Sky Sports F1 HD. Yes, this is Pat's little game. And we're also playing Deal or No Deal at the same time. <laughs> so, vital that box 13, that we do not see £100,000, £75,000, £50,000, and hopefully not £35,000. You could afford to take out anything from £20,000 downwards at this point. Jules? Do it for me, Judy. Come on. Come Plenty on. of blues to aim at. Open box 13, please. Twenty thousand. Fine. 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 Good girl. That's Twenty thousand went. Ten thousand went. Fine. Hello. Sweet Pat. She's still my beating heart. He says. You've had an impact. <laughs> Bright. Mm. Oh, my word. As a suitor, he is constant and true. And therefore, his offer to you is £2,200. <laughs> Again. <laughs> not up, not down. So what does that mean? We're getting nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. £2,200 opening offer, followed by £2,200. I can't remember the last time this happened. Do you wish to deal or no deal? No, no deal. No deal? No we deal. go on. <laughs> we have the next round. You have to go on now and open three <coughs> more boxes. Where are you going? OK, but well, this is <clears throat> really strange how this has worked out because the next one is, is Jenna, 1010. And Jenna's been there with me the whole time. Jenna, you know the form by now. Yeah. We are just looking for a low number. If Pat can get through this round, maintaining three out of those four numbers in place, she will shift the banker. We're stuck at 2,200. It's low, and this number needs to be low as well, please. Jenna, open box number 10. Good luck, Pat. Jenna. One pound. Yeah. Great start to this round. Next one. Come on, let's keep the positivity going. Next one. Right, again, this is quite an important number. One and nine, nineteen. Terry, please try and stay away from a hundred thousand, seventy-five thousand, and fifty thousand. Open box nineteen. One thousand. Now, now you are starting to get into a very strong position. You've got one more to go before we talk to the banker again. And you cannot possibly now decimate this. That was the fear. If you could still stay away from those four, that would be an achievement. That really would be something special. OK, you ready, then? Yeah. I'm oh, desperate. Yeah? Yeah, okay. I'm happy to crack on. Okay. I mean, I... Okay. The faster we go, sometimes, the luckier you get. OK, so it's on its own, and it's number six, and it's Robbie, please. Robbie! Very, very simple request to you, sir. Firstly, give us that smile. Secondly, open the box. 
Good luck, Paz. Five hundred pounds. A perfect round. A dream round. Everything you could possibly have wanted delivered at the perfect time in the game. It's amazing, isn't it? It is amazing. Shaping up brilliantly. Geordie, welcome. You're new to the game. What do you think of the board at this stage? Scary. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say scary? Scary. Yeah, that sums me up as well. Here. Scary is a good Flirting, word for me. flirting. She's brilliant at it. What, well, scaring people? Flirting, you say. Flirting. Oh, flirting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Actually, the worst thing is I've been a teacher. Can you imagine how many of my ex-pupils are out there going, Miss Stenning? But they won't be surprised by this, believe me. They will not be surprised. I think you're going to get some very interesting offers. <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> just said, Geordie, it's not going to go well for you when you're over here. <laughs> <laughs> Muscling in on his patch, I think. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Thank you. Well, we've unblocked it. Good. And it's coming up. Even better. <laughs> From £2,200, it's gone up to £8,400. Right, that's what I'd have expected. That's what you would have We've expected. What's left on the board? Yes. Yeah. £8,400. Yeah, the odds, that's good. Pat. No. £8,400. Deal or no deal? No deal. I really hope you're not going to regret it. Can you see my problem? So we've got to work out what's, what's, what, uh, what's, which box is out there, which is not written down here. OK, let me just... I've got 19 twice, funnily enough. So I've just got to quickly do um, my recce. That's interesting. Oh, it's there. <laughs> oh, oh, right, we've got a very interesting problem now. <laughs> OK. OK, so it's this one. Oh, interesting. OK, how did that happen? <laughs> OK, sorted. OK. I'm in your hands. I can't do anything until you say a number. OK, no, so my next box is, on its own, number four, and that's Michael. And, um... Yes? Yes. Box please. number four. I don't know how she's doing it, but she is producing a very, very powerful game board here. If we can survive this round, if this is not one of those disastrous rounds, you are going to be in a very healthy position with the banker. First box of the three. Vital. It's not one of the big ones. Thank you, Michael. Ten <laughs> The perfect... Start. The perfect start to the crucial round, the pivotal round, the deciding round in terms of the relationship with the bank. Second box. Okay, the second box now has to be 2020. Uh, Mumtaz, please. Mumtaz, would you please open the box? 100,000! OK, it's OK. The biggest sum okay. remaining. The biggest number has gone. We are now down to 75,000. It's the largest sum of money that is out there in the game. We're being positive, and everybody is being positive behind you, Pat. Yeah. The good news is that you only have one more choice, and therefore you cannot destroy all three. No. 
That's okay. But it's really, really important. We do not discover the 75,000. Okay. Yes. Okay, so the next number is one and eight. 18, and that's Arlette, please. Arlette. Mm -hmm. We do not want to see the 75,000. She's taken out the 100,000. And if we can just get to the next offer without the 75,000 going, we stand a chance of going into the next round in a really fit condition. Okay. Are you all right about this? <laughs> yes. You seem a little tense. Take a deep breath. Let it out. Take a deep breath. Let it out. Keep going, keep going, keep going. We're, uh, we're going to take a break. She'll keep going. Deep breath. Deep breath. Let it out. Deep breath. Breast milk is the best protection for you. Fantastic! Exactly what we wanted. Fantastic! Fantastic! Yeah, that's almost a horrible, horrible in the middle with 100,000. But now that all important block, 75, 50, 35 sitting there, 15,000 as a safety net. Perfect positioning. What's he going to make it's of you cool, now? He it? is going to be pleased cool. at the loss of the 100,000. Yeah. Undoubtedly. Yeah. Enjoying it? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's, it's, uh... Um, is is money the dominant influence in your life? No. Some people would say it is, uh, but I get it, and I spent it. It's there and it's gone. But I'm passing it on. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? Does yes. It, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. It? Makes sense. I'm not sure it's particularly wise, but it makes I sense. I know. I'm really hello. Of money. Hello. She likes to keep the money moving. £6,000. It's going very slow here, isn't it? Just, uh... Well, no. I'm glad he's doing that, because he's not giving me a difficult decision, is he? Because there's no way, with that board I'm sticking on, 6000 absolutely no Thinks way. Thinks the banker's scared here. Yeah, it's OK. Oh, tear of people all going, oh, no deal. <laughs> Pat, yeah. £6,000. Deal or no deal? Absolutely no deal. Thank you. The next three boxes, please. Thank you. Okay. It's interesting how it's come to this. And the next two numbers are my son's birthday, my son Josh, who's seven. I love you lots. And the date is 1 and 7, 17. Gavin, would you please open box 17? Best one, Thank you, Gavin. 75,000. It's okay. It's okay. The very, it's okay. very number we did not want to see. It's okay. Oh, Pat. It's okay. Two to go to the next offer. Okay, so the next bit is February, so it's two and it's Geordie. Well, it's own number two, Geordie. Geordie, it is vital that you do not have the 50,000 in box two. Would you please open it? Five pounds. <laughs> Well, that's one statistic that goes out of the window. One aspect of the curse that is gone. OK. My third number, then, is... 1 and 4, 14, please. And that's Vanessa. Would you please open box 14, Vanessa? 50,000. A disastrous round. Yep. OK, it's all right. Absolutely disastrous. 75 and the 50,000 in one round. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. That's all right. No, you sort of think you're going to take two blues and a red, don't you? Or one blue and two reds, and there's going to be a red left somewhere. But we've seen it happen, haven't we? We've seen it happen. I think my favourite game was when there were seven blues and two reds, and you got all those blues up to me, Robbie. Remember, that's my first game. Hello. Hello. 
Mm. Mm. He is still clearly enamoured with you. However, his affection for money surpasses any charms you may have. Okay. And he is now offering you what he describes as a hugely attractive £2,300. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, not money, really. I'm really, really keen that you do not get sucked into the game at this point and you remember you're playing the money. You still have available to you in this game £35,000. Pat, really think about this, Pat. It's okay. I am. Really, really think about I am. it. I £2,300. Deal or no deal? No deal! No deal! No deal! No deal! No deal! No deal. Beat the banker. It's not their money. <laughs> no deal. Oh. I love the way you're playing this. You brought a very different flavour to this. The composure is intoxicating. And it certainly affected them. The three most important boxes that you are ever going to open in your life. Start with the first choice. Okay, so, well, so number eight then, please. Oh, that's Liz. Liz, please open box number eight. Good luck, Pat. I really wish you good luck. 15,000. Okay. Pat, you, of all the players we've had recently, really, really deserve the next two boxes to be the two blues. So the next one is number nine. Number nine. And it's Miguel, please, Miguel. Are you happy with Miguel and yeah. box nine? Yeah. Miguel, it mustn't be 35,000 pounds. Please open box number nine. I hope it's blue, Pat. Come on. Okay, so we're down to the bar now. My birthday's the 22nd of the 5th, but in numerology, my number is 5. What is the 5 doing? All right. No, it's 22. Okay. I'm fine. It's... You're okay about it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. It's all on this player. <sighs> Open box 22, and we are all, all hoping this is not... £35,000. Let's keep it in play, Anne. Open Good. box 22. Good luck, Pat. Go on, Pat. Oh. 35! Oh. Ducks let you down. Well, they did, didn't they? I'm never meant to be rich, no. Hello. That's not my destiny. Hello. Mm. Mm. Uh, he says, you have such dignity and grace, it almost pains him. Almost. Offer you now for this box one thousand pounds. Thousand pounds, yeah. Thousand pounds. We turned down two thousand three hundred pounds and we're at a thousand pounds. Suddenly this game flips over and the money takes on totally different significance. An opening offer of a thousand pounds. It's really okay, I'm cool, really, believe me. Okay, Pat. You're finding this easier than I. 
pounds. One thousand pounds, deal or no deal? Yes, no deal, no. No deal, no. Hello. He nearly sounded sincere. Yeah. I think he was sincere. He would like to offer the genuinely wonderful Pat a swap. Yeah, OK. We've got to think about this now, haven't we? You can swap box 21, box number 5. That's nice of him, OK. Pat, I thought you said box 5 was one of your lucky boxes. I know, but it's that like you're protecting yourself and things. And I said 22 was my lucky box. Well, you can't have... But what the heck? I should end up with it. Come on. Come on, Noel. Let's go walkies. Come on. Would you like to carry my box for me, sir? This way? <laughs> no, if it is, it is. Thank you very much. Thank you. John, I'm on holding on to that. Right, young man, let's return to the place. <laughs> Go. Lovely number five. Right. Okay. Box five is your lucky box. <sighs> now it is your only box. Having turned down £1,000 as the last offer, we now hope the swap was your wisest move and that at least £3,000 be taking you one step further to your dreams. I get asked all the time about how much I get sucked into this and I tell you something Pat, I am playing this every second with you and I am praying this is £3,000. You deserve to see £3,000. Yeah. It is! It is! It is! Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's what we wanted. It was the three thousand. And the box that had been sitting in front of you throughout the game. Would you please open it, John? That's where the hundred pounds goes. Yes, happy. Very happy, Noel. Thank you very much indeed. Out of the ashes, you pulled that one back. Three thousand yeah. pounds. Yeah. A step towards your dream. Absolutely. Thank you. Enjoy three thousand pounds. What a lovely, lovely lady. Oh, and we were so close to it going horribly wrong. She took the swap, and she's the first person in Deal or No Deal history where the swap has worked out. Join us tomorrow, Saturday, when once again I'll ask that question, deal or no deal, and hopefully someone really is going to beat the banker. I think you'll be back. I hope so. Bye-bye. A quarter of a million pounds. 22 identical sealed boxes. And no questions. Except one. Deal or no deal? Thank you. Welcome. Oh, and a warm welcome to you, to Deal or No Deal, our unique entertainment drama, which really, in many respects, reflects life. This is all about making the right decision at the right time, those kind of awkward decisions that face us all on a daily basis. Career or family? Death or glory? Brown sauce or ketchup? <laughs> we have 22 identical boxes. And within these boxes, we have 22 different sums of money, ranged from one pence all the way up to the quarter of a million pounds. Nobody has gone quite that high just yet, until possibly today.
I wonder which of these players is going to come centre stage and possibly go home with a life-changing fortune. Let's meet today's player. It's Lee! Yeah! Come on, Lee, please come and join me. Thank you very much. Well, pleasure. You've been over there for a long time, stuck on the end of the West Wing, and now's your big moment. Yep. Just in time for Christmas. Absolutely, yeah. Bit of extra cash. Hope so. Lee Hartland from Ogmore Vale in Bridgend. Yep. You own your own diamond drilling and construction company. That's right, yes. Does that mean you're a risk taker? Yeah, if you can take a risk and you can follow it through with conviction, very often will pay off for you. Absolutely. Yeah put a suit on for you. Yeah, thank you very much. Because it's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Noah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, stop that. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. If you think by doing that I'm going to buy you all a drink, <laughs> I might look stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Here we go. You've got to confirm. You chose that box at random before the show, Lee. Yes, I did. The independent adjudicator sealed that box and all of the other boxes. And that is the only individual associated with this show who knows where the money is. You don't, I don't, they don't, they don't, and the banker doesn't. Yeah. And he really wants to give you a bad, bad Christmas. And we want to see you do incredibly well. Have you got a strategy? I've got a philosophical view about the game, and that is that each stage is a new game. So if the big money goes, I can't change it. I'll only deal with what's left on the board and take each stage as a new game. That is the strategy the banker hates. So you could be absolutely spot on. As you know, because you've been here all this time, first round, five boxes. Yep. Then we get the first interchange with the banker. OK. And that is the all-important first conversation that quite often decides how the game unfolds. It's your game, it's your show. I want you to have a really great time on this Thursday. OK. So, Lee, in your own time, five boxes. I'd like a fast-paced game, Noel. Yep. It's, uh, it's one way of drawing a conclusion out of the game. Absolutely. So, OK, we'll start with uh, Jenna, number one. Jenna, he wants a fast-paced game. Jenna, please, the first box is number one. Open it, please. Thousand yeah. pounds. Happy? You're comfortable with a bag? Yep. Right. Michael, number five, please. Number five, Michael. Keep it blue, keep it low. Keep Lee on track for big money today. Open box five. Good luck, matey. Thank you, Michael. Hundred thousand. Yet again, a player takes out one of the top three big numbers in the opening round. However, your strategy is to be philosophical about that. Yep. We'll carry on. Yep. OK. We'll have Alan number seven, please. OK, Alan. He needs more than luck here. He needs determination that this most definitely is not the uh, <gasps> big one. I'm sure Alan, right. would you please open box number seven? 10,000. OK. You have got to get away from the red side. Yes, I've got to start hitting them on the left. Yep. You really have. Two to go. Louise, number 11, please. Number 11, Louise. Guaranteed, Lee. Ten pounds. Thank you. Very neat. Does look very neat and tidy, doesn't it? Another one on the left would be good. It would. Vital, actually. Yeah. Vital. Yep. One to go. Where are you going? Andy, number two, please. Andy, come on. You've been good mates for a few weeks now. We are. We need... A nice low number, please, Andy. Open box number two, please. Look. 50 yeah. pounds. Thank you, Andy. He did the job. Yep. You did put a brave face on the loss of the 100,000, but I could see the look in your eyes. That was a jolt. We've seen a lot worse. Oh, crumbs. I've come to expect the unexpected with this game now. OK, what we do know is 100,000, isn't it, isn't it? Yeah. 
regrettably, that we know. The 10,000 isn't there, but you've got a good, solid block down the right-hand side, including the all-important quarter of a million. And uh, for people who are joining us late, where have you been all these weeks? As long as the quarter of a million stays in the game, the banker has to take Lee really seriously. And it's there. Is it going to produce a big, strong, opening up. What do you reckon? Because quite often you've been saying, go on, go on, no deal, no deal. Not recklessly, but uh, when I feel that, that I would have, yes. Honestly, you've been very honest, I remember that. And hello to you. Uh-huh. What, what happened to happy birthday, Noel? No, don't sing it, just say it will be quite, <laughs> quite fine. said with such affection, thank you. Thank you. Where would you put the opening offer? Around about £6,000, I would suggest, as a, a reasonable opening offer. He would have to be taking you incredibly seriously to give you an offer of 6000 be realistically. He should take me seriously. Yeah. And uh, I think uh, if he is, then he will have produced an offer in, in the region of, of that amount. OK. The offer he is actually making to you is £6,000. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody has ever got it spot on. Well done. <laughs> right, you're reading the game very, very well. This is interesting. You are reading the game the same way as the banker. So, at £6,000, the formality is Lee, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> It could all change brilliantly or horrifically. Yep. Next three are going to be fascinating. <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, because you said <laughs> round one, then we play again. So we have, in your head, a fresh game. Where are we going? OK, we'll keep the pace going. We'll have Lindsay number 10, please. Would you please, Lindsay, open box number 10. 50,000. OK, another two to go. OK, well, you've taken out a big one. Yeah, plenty of blues there. Yeah, away you go. Uh, Michael, number 20, please. Michael, mustn't be a quarter of a million, please. And leave the safety net of 75,000 if you can. Please open box number 20. 15,000. Still leaves plenty of blues to hit. I'd like Max, number 8, please. Now, Max, I've noticed you have a particular style about the way in which you open the boxes, particularly with your left hand, where you're really leaning on the box. Now, you could break it. <laughs> Did I say break? We'll be back after the break. Slippery surfaces are really hard to cling onto, which is why Fresh is reading the game absolutely accurately spot on so he's got the respect of the banker and the 250,000 is still in play as long as Max is not going to spoil things by opening now please Max box 8 5,000 pounds Now, you have produced a very, very interesting situation because you took three from the right-hand side. Yeah. Thankfully, you missed the 75 and the 250. Yeah. Three boxes per round. In theory, you could have three clear, safe rounds, in theory. But I suspect you're better at reading this game than me. <laughs> what do you make of the current position? What's the banker going to do? Because so many reds now have gone, I think that he'll feel I'm going to start to pick off the others as well. Maybe 4,500. I think he's going to reduce it. You're just saying that because you know he's listening and therefore he'll go, I'm not going to do what this man says, I'm going to put in a bigger off. <laughs> no, that's not the case. I'm saying what I feel. Sure? Yeah. OK. I'm enjoying this. There's a little bit of duelling going on.
Mm-hmm. He's noted everything. He's followed yeah. absolutely everything. But he is resisting you. Okay. And he has halved the offer to three thousand pounds. Okay. That's the Yorker, the bouncer, call it what you will. <laughs> he does it every now and again. Three thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. No, you're not going to. I like this. Yeah, this is good. Now, <laughs> you have so many options open to you. It really would be a travesty of justice if you were now to touch the 75,000 and the quarter of a million, but you've seen it happen oh, yeah. so many times. Where are you now going, Lee? What is your next choice? I'd like to take out number 13, Nick, please. Nick? OK. Not a quarter of a million, not 75,000, please. Let's have one of the low blues. Come on, open box 13. 35,000, wow! Yet another red. There's not many left, no? There's not many left. And thankfully, the remaining key numbers you haven't touched. Yeah. The 75,000, the 250,000, but it's just like you've got some sort of homing device there. <laughs> You need to get the initiative back now. Two low ones, please, Lee. Uh, Pat number 21, please. Not 75,000. Not the quarter of a million, please, Pat. 750. <laughs> okay. Right. Yep. Sure. Gavin number 15, please. This box, and then we will get an offer. And it is absolutely vital that the 75,000 and the quarter of a million are still in play when we hear the phone ring. So please, get us over to the left-hand side, Gavin. Please, open box 15. Kelly, lovely. Yeah. 250. A little bit better. You run your own business. You own the company. Yeah. Who's running the company while you're here? My father's keeping things ticking over for me. Right. <laughs> Slowly. Have you got any family here? Yes, my wife is sitting over my right shoulder here. What's your name? Nicola. Nicola. Is he a gambler? <sighs> no, not really. Well, I didn't think so anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola has something in her bag that I would like to perhaps put on the table. It's a good luck card from my children and from Nicola. Puffy, Absolutely. Possible? Yeah. It's your show. It's yeah. your game. You can do anything you want. We've had a number of different people play the game in different ways. Your card. Thank you. Tell me about the kids. It's uh, Ross and Paisley. Ross is 11, Paisley's 8. And uh, yeah, they're great kids. Wishing you all the luck in the world. Be thinking of you constantly and whatever decision you make will be the right one. Ah, love from Nicola. Paisley and Ross saying, good luck to Daddy. We will miss you loads. Yeah. Which is an interesting point. Do you want to pop it on the box? Yeah. Yeah. It's an interesting point because we have to remind people you've actually been away from home and you've been living this yeah. show right up to this moment. Yes, yeah, almost is... five weeks away from home, yeah. I hope your dad's doing a good job with the business, otherwise... <laughs> I haven't heard from him for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably not there. <laughs> OK. Um, the last offer, he cut it in half. We've crashed from 6,000 to 3,000. Yeah. I'm fascinated to know what's going to happen. This is going to be a crucial moment. Oh, yes, it is, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Hi. Hello. <laughs> the, the insincerity with which he just said, that was really touching. <laughs> you are a very sick man. <laughs> and you are going to have such a miserable Christmas. <laughs> and Lee and I are going to try and guarantee it by taking you for a load of money. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's crack on. That 3,000, that was you just being minxy. Now, come on, let's get back into a real game. 75,000 is still there. Quarter of a million is still there. He's got all sorts of options. You know that. You've worked the numbers. What's the offer? 
Thank you. Good. OK, we're playing again. We're motoring again. The pace is back in it. He stopped mucking around. Lee, you're back in the driver's seat. £12,000. Yeah. Excellent. You are back very, very much in control of this game. You have the quarter of a million. That's what's worrying him. You've got a fabulous safety net in the 75,000. Yeah. That is concerning him. Yeah, if I take out the 250 and the 75,000, I won't see an offer of 12,000 again in, the, no. in this game. And it is a lot of money. There's a lot to play for there yet. Lee, 12,000 pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> that decision means you have to go on. Yeah. You have to open three more boxes. Right, we'll do them quickly. Yep. Jill number nine, please. Jill, please do not spoil Christmas for this great guy. Would you please open box number nine? 20,000. You have a red fixation. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Yes, it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that is the understatement. This yeah. is really interesting. Mm. <laughs> Yes, it's starting to get nervously interesting, if you don't mind me saying. Yeah. It's getting tense now. The next two. Please. There are so many. Please, I know. There are so many blues there. <laughs> okay, Jenny, please, number 22. Jenny, you all right? <laughs> no. Wow, Jenny really does not want to let you down. I know. Hopefully, this is going to be blue and low. Jenny, please, open box 22. Five! At last! I like it. At last! <laughs> I love that. At last, I know what to do. So. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good idea. We could do with another one of those. Let's try and keep it going. Yeah, go on. Go on. What's it going to be? Irene, number 12, please. Irene, you are so accurate with the predictions. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> It's not for me. No, it isn't, is it? <laughs> no, I'd no. throw the crystal ball away. Well, no, I didn't even get as far as getting one of those. Is I was only not? on stage one. What was it? Well, I think I'm going to ask for a refund. What was, it? <laughs> what was stage one? Tea leaves? Um, no, no, because I don't drink tea. I only drink coffee. <laughs> so I've been at a disadvantage the whole time. You know, one of those moments think... in life where you wished you hadn't asked the question. <laughs> this is so important. It's so vital. We'll take a break and we'll oh. pick it up again in a moment. Well, someone means business today. And we're off. Oh, he's beaten one. He lines up the shot. Oh, my word, it's in! What a shot! New Head & Shoulders Pro Clean Formula keeps you up to 100% flake-free with a lasting shower-fresh feeling that keeps you on top of your game. He's making another surging run. He's unstoppable! It's there! It's there! He's done it! Unbelievable! And the crowd are loving it! Will he score again? Stay fresh with Head & Shoulders, making heads happier. Disney's amazing buy one get one free offer is back. So come and join the fun with Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. This I cannot wait to see. The Lion King. Isn't it great? Plus Beauty and the Beast and many, many more. Oh my God. It's wonderful. Disney's amazing buy one get one free offer on Disney Blu-ray and DVD at Sainsbury's. We've got big deals on hundreds of products. Right now, this Bailey's Original Irish Cream is only £9.49. The Cooperative. Good with food. OK, guys, how's our order coming along? Good, Chef. Those ribs look perfect. But my dad likes his steak cooks a little longer. Yes, Chef. Nice. Remember, barbecue sauce with a steak. Mmm, delicious. Thank you, Chef. And my words, pretty, pretty with a spit roast chicken. Yes, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Nice. With dishes from 4 dollars including unlimited salad, you're in charge at Harvester. Dad, sauce. Please. With a loan from Wonga.com, you decide the amount you want, how long you want it for, and we tell you exactly how much it'll cost up front. Clear as day. So there's no hidden charges or nasty surprises. No one likes nasty surprises. 
You know I hate drum and bass. Cash loans you control. Wonga.com. Straight talking money. Imagine the unspeakable beauty of the universe he sees. My son doesn't even talk. Your son sees everything. You're telling me my son can predict the future. All these phone had numbers on them. What if he's trying to communicate? The time, the date, it's all connected. Whatever it is, it's supposed to happen today. The 318. How did you do that? Touch. Brand new drama starts Tuesday at 8 on Sky 1 HD. Wolves in deep relegation trouble now have to face the red hot league leaders. Followed by Newcastle Norwich. A Ford Super Sunday double from 1 p.m. Sky Sports 1. Welcome back. Welcome back to Lee's game, a fascinating game because when Lee was standing at the end of the West Wing helping other players, he showed an incredible talent for spotting the moment when the deal should be taken. 6,000 was the opening offer. We had a very, very funny little game around at 3,000. We're back up to 12,000, which he said no deal to. That 12,000 will become a haunting memory for you if in this box we have the quarter of a million pounds. Irene, will you please open this crucial vital box in this round now one pound yeah. hey, that, was, that was an important one that was that was really really important as you say because yeah. you would have to be extraordinarily unlucky in the next round in the next three boxes to take out the 75,000 and the quarter of a million on the other hand we have seen that done yeah we have You've seen it go either way, yeah. and that's what the game is all about. I'm wondering who is more nervous at this point, you or the banker? Well, if I'd come here to play that game, it would be looking very strong. I've got my 75,000 there, which uh, it's a big drop from the 250. And I suppose he's got to feel a little bit confident because there's a big hole in the middle of the reds. But it's still a good game, it's still a good looking board. I just have a feeling, I get your lo logic about the 75 pounds, I just get a feeling that isn't going to be a safety net. Okay. I hope I'm wrong about that. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, basically he's saying, he does sound as if he means it, there's no compassion in the voice, but it sounds as if he is being honest. That the existence of the quarter of a million is, what was the word you used? Terrifying. Terrifying. I can see that. I can see. He's basically saying that the loss of the 20,000 was critical. That was a vital point for him. OK, thank you. Uh, oh, God, he went on. Um, but there is a core to this, that he is wanting this to be regarded as a very, very reasonable and appropriate offer. Okay. And I think it's an interesting offer for the knowledge that he can have that box, which could contain a huge sum of money. He is prepared to offer you 17,800 pounds for a box that could contain one P or possibly <laughs> <laughs> a quarter of a million pounds. Yeah, it's a reasonable offer and it's worth some, uh, some consideration. Okay, how do you wish to conduct the consideration. I'd like the opinion of my wife, Nicola, please. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, a good offer, Lee. It is. 
So just think, think seriously about it. Okay. We can just turn in the next three boxes. Yeah. Okay, your wife has given you her thoughts. I'd like to have Max's opinion, please. Max? I think you shouldn't deal. I think there's no deal I think you can get a great offer. £17,800, Lee. And you still have the good luck. Yep, still that. Filtering down from the good <laughs> luck card into that box, which could contain a quarter of a million pounds. It could contain £75,000. This is close. Yes, it is. If you do take out the high ones, you're in the peas. Yep. If you're going to play the game, there's a lot to play for. That's an expression you very much made your own. £17,800, Lee. Deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> Right, let's make sure this is going to be epic and that decision was the wisest of your life. The next three boxes, away you go, Lee. Right. Arlette, number 17, please. Arlette, big, big responsibility. We do not now wish to see anything other than numbers below £3,000. Please open box 17. Now. Yeah! Dream. dream, dream, dream. Yep. Are you OK over there? <laughs> Nicola's uh, having a tough time. <laughs> Two. Two to go. Where are you going? Simon, number four, please. Simon. It mustn't be 75,000. <laughs> it mustn't be the quarter of a million. Please, Simon, open box number four. Good look, mate. OK. Yeah! Yeah! And now... <laughs> now you can't take them both. No, that last box is very important. That is an understatement. You cannot take them both. He knows that, and the fantastic Christmas scenario is you've got four blues there, and the decimation of the right-hand side that had us all terrified earlier has now put you in this incredibly powerful position. This box is everything. Angela, number three, please. Angela, if... You help us to miss the quarter of a million. It is no exaggeration to say you are on to a life-changing sum of money. You all right, Nicola? Yes. <laughs> Please open box three and it not be a quarter of a million. Please open it. Fantastic. Come on, admit it. Come on, come on. Admit it. That had you going. <laughs> that had us all going. This, that was electric in here. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. It's even more interesting, though. Well, <laughs> £17,800 was the last offer. You have four opportunities to miss the quarter of a million. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is lovely. Oh. Take a picture of the smiling people so the banker can see just how pleased we all are. We have the quarter of a million still there, the £75,000 still there. Your best offer. <laughs> Come on, I can hear the breathing. Just speak.
Don't go anywhere for a moment. This is going to be interesting. Quarter of a million is still there, Lee. 75,000 is still there. And you don't know what's in that box. The only thing you can be certain about is it has a good luck card from your children on top of it. And it's working. The offer is £50,000. I wasn't expecting an offer quite that large. Nicola, you don't have to sit there. It's not that kind of show. £50,000 is a huge amount of money, is it? Yes, and if 50000 was the remaining big number on the board, that's all we'd be playing for. So we've been offered it now, yeah. OK, I think you can take your seat. I'm ready. You ready for the question? Yeah. Lee, 50. Thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? Deal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Icing on the cake time, and now we're going looking for the cherry, the cherry that proves you wouldn't have got the quarter of a million. Let's go and let's find. The big numbers. OK. Dave, number 19, please. Dave, open 19. 500. <laughs> the whole game is about when to deal. Did he deal too soon? Next one. We'll open Robbie's box, number 18, Robbie, please. Robbie, welcome to the show. And uh, there's no pressure on you. We just simply want to see the quarter of a million or the 75,000, so we know that was a great deal. Away you go. 50p. <laughs> oh, I want to find it now. <laughs> Drawn to Terry at number 14, please. Terry? You know what I'm thinking. Uh -huh. If this isn't the quarter of a million, you made a terrible, terrible deal. Away you go. Let's hope it is for you. Find the 250,000. <laughs> no! Incredible. Incredible. The guy who has been so consistently analysing, forecasting, oh. reading the game accurately, dealt too soon, spectacularly too soon. That would have been perfect. I just wonder what this offer is going to be. Do we have to find out? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. No, no. He would have offered you at this point, with 75,000 still in the play, with a quarter of a million still in play, 160,000. Oh! 160,000. <laughs> But it's academic because you dealt. Yeah. And it could, get a, lot, it could get a lot worse, couldn't it? Yeah, good. Yeah. The 50,000 is safe with yeah. you now. And I guess you would have taken the 160,000. <laughs> but could you have been the first person to walk away with a quarter of a million? May I remove the good luck card? Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's worked. It has worked, yes, absolutely. Let's not, let's not no, lose track worked. of this. £50,000 is a great result. Yes, of course it is. 160000 would have been a fantastic mm. result. <laughs> I really think you've got a happy ending. Can Nicola open it? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> 
Nicola, you're happy with the 50,000? Yes, delighted. Did you actually have a quarter of a million here? Nicola, I want you to reveal, dare I say, only 75,000. Please open the box now. It is a Would you please open, Julie, box number six. The quarter of a million was over there. <laughs> you happy? Yes, deleted. £50,000. It's a fantastic sum of money. What a fantastic show. That is a good result. £50,000. And the way he started taking out one of the big numbers, we didn't think that that was going to happen. Join us tomorrow. tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Where was I? £50,000. We're going to have a party now, but we'll be back tomorrow. Make sure you're all there. I think you will be. Deal or no deal. See you then. Bye-bye. Quarter of a million pounds, 22 identical sealed boxes, and no questions except one deal or no deal. Thank you very much. Thank you. And a very warm welcome to Deal or No Deal, our entertainment drama. And yesterday we had a real drama. In fact, a tragedy of almost Shakespearean proportions. Because we really thought that Irene had special powers. Unfortunately, she suffered a spectacular power cut and she went away with just five pounds. We were not happy and we're still getting over it. But maybe we can pick ourselves up. Maybe this show is the one where one of these 22 players is about to beat the banker and take away a quarter of a million pounds. We have 22 identical boxes, as always. And out there somewhere are 22 different sums of money, ranging from the tiny little 1p all the way up to a quarter of a million pounds. And someone, at some time, on deal or no deal, is going to go away with the big money. It could be today. Let's find out who is playing. Is it a big money prize for... Nick! Welcome at last. Oh, have you kept tabs on how many shows you've been over there? Uh, 22nd, I think this is. 22nd show. Yeah. Well, you've left the East Wing, a long walk, and yep. it all looks different from here, doesn't it? Does. it? <laughs> I've got to say, it does, yeah. <laughs> Nothing to be nervous about. You're with friends. You're backed yep. up by a whole load of people who would like you to do really well. Yeah. And this will be interesting for you. I'll just tell you a bit about yourself. Thank from, you. From your file. Nick Bain from Clacton-on-Sea in Essex. Mortgage yep. sales support. What's, what's that involved? Uh, well, basically, um, I do sell mortgages, but at the minute I'm working in, uh, like, supporting, basically, whoever, like, the salespeople are that sell the mortgages, we make sure everything's OK, send it all off to, you know, make sure it's got passports, ID, what, whatnot. Oh, it's, OK. Just yeah. to make sure it's all there. Married to Stacey. You yep. have a, a son, Jack. Jack, yeah. He's age three. And your attitude to luck and destiny is quite interesting. You think everything is already mapped out yep, for you? Definitely. If I'm if I'm meant to win today, then I'll win. If I'm not, then move on, take the next opportunity that comes along. 
How are you going at this game? Are you going to bring a formula? Uh, and we saw Max, who had a complete spreadsheet. My formula is just to pick boxes at random. I'm, I'll probably pick people or... I'll, actually, I won't even look at anybody's face. I'll just look at the boxes and pick them at random. Like I say, if I'm meant to win today, I'll win. If I don't, then maybe next time. Nick, I need you to confirm that before the show, you chose this box at random. I did. Box five, we didn't foist it on you for any reason. Right. The independent adjudicator seals this box and all the other boxes. They don't know where the money is, I don't know where the money is. No one on the production knows where the money is at all. The longer you can keep those big five in play, the better the offer from the banker. The longer they stay there, the more in control you are. Yep. Enjoy. I wish you a lot of luck. I'm here to help. Thank you. Start when you wish. Bye. Um, I'm going to start with Alan on number four. I had number four yesterday. Alan, would you please get us underway and open box number four? Best of luck, mate. 500 pounds. That's fine. <laughs> on the high side, on the left side, but it's fine. Next one. Um, who had the quarter million yesterday? Where was the quarter million? It was number, that was Alan, wasn't it? So it was number yeah. nine. Yeah. Lindsay, number nine, please. Staying over on the West Wing side. Please open box nine and keep it low, for goodness sake. Good luck, Nick. Good luck. 750. <laughs> Being a good start. Okay. Um, I'll go with num Pat, number 22. OK, you said you weren't looking at faces, but I saw you looking at Pat's face there. Because <laughs> she was looking, trying to remember what she had, but oh, I think... I um, had a low one yesterday. Did you? Mm, was it ten pounds? Ten pence you had yesterday. Was it ten pence yeah, yesterday? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm not going to change mine, I'll stick yeah. with Bob's 22. You want yeah. 22, OK, it's my lucky number. Good luck, Nick. 50,000! We we didn't want to see that. All right. OK. No problem. One of your powerful five have gone, leaving the top three. It'd be fantastic if we could get to the first conversation with the banker with the three intact there. That would be really good. It would. Um, Two to go to the call. Can I have number one, Robbie? Be lucky now. Keep it on the left-hand side, please. Not 75,000, 100,000 or the quarter million. And please open box number one, Robbie. 5,000. OK? That's right. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Nick's cool about that. Two blues, two reds. This, the decider. Right. I'll have Mumtaz, number eight. Mumtaz! Right. Don't spoil what is a well-balanced opening round. OK? Don't. We do not. We do not. Want, oh no! Come on, just open it. Come on. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Open Good number luck, eight, Nick. please. Five yeah. pounds. <laughs> the amount that Irene went away with yesterday, you cannot go away with. Not bad. Quite good. Isn't that reassuring? You cannot possibly go away with the same amount of money as Irene, because <laughs> it's gone. So, Could you could be the this? first person to go away with one P. <laughs> <laughs> and we have had a 10P. Yes, yeah, We right. did have a 10P, which yeah. was very painful. OK, how do you feel at this stage? Um, confident, you know, from here it's looking good. Uh, still plenty of blues on there as well. And I've still got a big three, which is... Yeah. So, pretty good. Pretty happy with that. Good afternoon. I'm very good, thank you. Yes, quite. Did you, as a matter of interest, uh, did you pay Irene in cash? Or, or are you dragging it out as you usually do through the international money markets? Oh, the usual channels. Oh, right, so it was cash then. Right. Stop gloating. Right, different day, very different player. Do you want me to ask him? Do you play poker? Uh, I do, yes. Oh. Texas Hold'em. Oh, OK. Hmm. He's delighted you're a poker player, because he is. Excellent. And he says the only clue you get in poker 
is the bet. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. This is very, very interesting. This is a gameplay. He's saying something to you. Thirteen hundred pounds. Thirteen hundred pounds for that box, because, as we can see from the game board, there are a lot of big numbers still out there. Yep. There now, I would have expected that to be higher. Never mind. Thirteen hundred. Terrible offer, I think, for what's on the board, but it's cool. He wants me to play. If he wants me to play, I'll play. Yeah? Yeah. Deal or no deal? No deal. Ah. No. Right In every game, there is a crucial round. If you can stay away from those big three, I think the next little bit of pokering could be very interesting. Could get a bit better. Yep. Right, I'll have Jill, number 15, please. Jill? Hello. Hi. Open box 15. Good luck, Nick. Thank you, Jill. One pound. <laughs> Thank you, Jill. Perfect. We know that one pound isn't in your box. Good job, Sammy. Uh, I'm going to go with Julie, box 17, please. 17. What drew you to that box? Um, again, nothing really. It was just random, looking at the numbers, not the people. We do not want to touch, at this stage in the game, the top three. Away you go with 17, please, Julie. Good luck, mate. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry, mate. That was wicked. That was the that quarter was of a million. <laughs> that was wicked. Right. 250,000 is gone. Sometimes the view is that's good. I wouldn't say so. That's, that's the best number on here. Well, you can't know. <laughs> you... Yeah, okay, I know it's pressure's off. Yeah. But, you know, it's nice to keep it on there, wouldn't it? But it's gone now, so it's not dwell. Yep. Next number. I'm going to go with Terry number 12. The quarter million's gone. That's history. However, you've got to keep the 100,000 in play now. Yeah. Vital. Terry, please open the box, and we are hoping you do not reveal it. Good luck for the pennies, Nick. 50 pounds. <laughs> All right. OK, it was kind of a bit of pokering around. It was a little bit of gameplay at the beginning with that first yeah. offer from the banker. What do you think it's going to be now? Um, well, I think he's got to increase it. Uh, I mean, I've, again, I've still got two of the biggest numbers there, and I've got a lovely little fullback bunch there. Yep. Now, is he going to make now an increased offer, or do you think it is going to be a lower offer because he is pokering you? I mean, I'm sure he'll increase the offer, but. I don't think he'll increase it too much. He won't miss a Really? Yeah. I feel that anyway. See what he says. Is your phone ringing? Are you sure your phone's not ringing as well? I tell you what, I think you better go and check. We'll take a break and we'll see you in a moment to find out what's happening. Daily dose of drama, and this could actually be a very, very dramatic deal or no deal, because we know the banker likes his poker. You play poker. Between the two of you, you could have an ace battle here. He was testing you with that first offer. You didn't fall for that. You weren't interested in that. Since then, the quarter of a million's gone. He's going to think he's got you on the run. Hello. Hmm. OK. He thinks you're engaging in... I don't play poker, so I don't know, but you'll recognise this. Table talk? Presumably when people try and talk up their position. <laughs> is, that, is that so? Oh, well? 
I mean, table talks, table talk. You, you can you can bluff. You can't bluff. You know, what he offers is what he offers. Whether I go on is whether I go on. I'm pretty sure that I will. <laughs> <laughs> I like the attitude. I don't in any way want to lead the witness here. But I've got a funny feeling that you are going to want to go on. But uh, my role is just to relay the offer, which is £900. Oh, there was a lot of t Who was that over? Who was the loudest t over there? Julie? Was that you? No. It's a hard decision, isn't it? It's tough, £900 isn't it? £900. Yeah. On that board. Yeah. Remember. Don't get seduced by the board, though. So, Nick, on Clacton on Sea? No. Nope. £900, deal or no deal? No deal. <laughs> no, no. Right. OK. OK. This could be a fascinating one. He has to avoid letting the banker wind him up. That is exactly the advantage the banker likes to have. Three to the next offer. I'm going to go for uh, Gavin, number 20. Gavin? Gavin. That's a terrible accent. Stick, <laughs> stick with Essex. It's not bad. Gavin, would you please open box 20? Best luck, mate. Cheers, mate. £250, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Gavin. Perfect start. Thank you. We had a really good start to the previous round and then it went horribly wrong. Shape, yeah. OK. All right, um... I'm going to go with Liz, number two. Feeling lucky, Liz? Liz, do you get anything off these boxes? No, I don't, but I've had all high numbers. I have never had a low box, so I'm sure I'm due a low box. Liz, please open box number two and prove that you are indeed due a low number. And you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. <laughs> oh, I like it. That was perfect. Love the odds there. Right. I just so, got to find that penny in, I really. Yeah. You just want to take the one P out, and then you cannot be our biggest loser. <laughs> well, that's just uh, that's just fact. I'm going to go with Jenny, number ten. Jenny, would you please open box number ten? Hundred pounds, fifty pounds, ten P, one P, anything. Any of the low numbers, please. This is a good one, Nick. Fifteen thousand. It's not bad. That's all right. OK. Fine. Come. Shrug of the shoulders. It's cool. It's Best round nice. so far. It's not the top two, is it? So... No. The all-important top two. Still Numbers there. two and three are still there. Well, this is hotting up. This is just starting to build very, very nicely. Hi. Hi. Yep, it was an excellent round for him. Yep. OK, he says his style of play is tight and aggressive. Do you have a particular style of play? On on this? Poker. He's still talking poker. Um, I don't want to give too much away. <laughs> He's playing you now. Do you remember what the last offer was? £900? Yeah. He's now offering you £9,000. Game on. It is game on. It is game on. It's a nice amount of money. You've just got him in an interesting place. <laughs> <laughs> you have a great smile. <laughs> you have a very infectious smile. What's it concealing? Nothing. This is me. That's my smile. I can't work you out. I don't know what you're thinking. I'm thinking 9,000 is nice. It sits up there lovely. It does, isn't it? Not as nice as 100,000 pounds, but it does sit up there nicely. It does. It's a good offer. It is a very good offer. Six below. Yesterday, Irene turned down at a... Not dissimilar time, £4,700. Yep. Went away with a fiver. 
that's how quickly the game can turn. Do you want to ask anybody? Um, or do you want me just simply to ask you a question? Yeah, I don't want to, you know, leave it to anyone. You can ask me the question now. Who won the FA Cup final in 1922? <laughs> <laughs> Nick, £9,000, deal or no deal? No deal. It's more important than ever before. He has revealed the fact you can turn the handle and start cranking him up. You will start to get into very interesting offer territory. If in the next three boxes we do not see 75,000 or 100,000, yeah. it's as simple as that. You've been here long enough, Nick, to know that is the objective now. Right. Three to go to the next offer. Um, I'm going to go with John on number 11. John. This must not be the two big numbers. We mustn't see 75,000 or 100,000 at this point. He will lose his advantage, and he's got the advantage at the moment. John, will you please open box number 11, and we need this to be a low number. That's Thank a you. Lot, Nick. Thank you, John. 100,000. The highest number has gone. Total disaster. One moment of seriousness, and then the smile comes back. <laughs> A different game. No. It's the same game. Aspirations have dropped slightly. Yeah. 75,000 could be in that box. Now what you've got to do is avoid it. We mustn't see it. Right. Find a box that does not contain the 75,000. I'm going to go with Anne on number 16. 16, and oh, responsibility here. I don't want to spoil Nick's day. I don't want to spoil his day, no. It'd be great if it was 3,000 or lower. If we could leave the 10, certainly leave the safety net of the 20 and 35. But this game falls apart if you are about to reveal 75,000 pounds. Thank you, Anne. Thank you. Good luck, Nick. 35,000. In every game, there is a crucial round. It does seem as if in every game, there is also the super destructive round. And this is it. Hopefully, this is it, and hopefully, the demolition has stopped. If the 75,000 goes now, 9,000 pounds is a distant memory. It is, yeah. Um... I'm going to go for Jenna, number 14. Always the smile, the charming smile. I'm confident. I've had 16 games and 13 reds. Have you really? Yeah. 16 games, 13 reds so far. The seal is still on, Nick. You do not have to go with this if you don't want. The moment that Jenna takes the seal off, you cannot change your mind. I'm going to give you a moment to think about it. We're going to take a break. Hi. The £75,000 in Nick's game. He's been jousting with the banker and he's lost the advantage. He will lose it forever in this game if, in this box, there is £75,000. And we don't want to see the 20,000 or the 10,000 if possible, Nick. The seal is still on, Nick. Do you want to stick with this one? Yes. Stay with 14. Absolutely. 100%. Jenna, would you please open the box and we'll keep our fingers crossed that you will not reveal 75,000. We mustn't see it. We've got to keep him in the game. Please open the box. Good luck, Nick. Thank you. 20,000. Huge gap now. Huge gap opened. 100 grand, 35 grand, and 20,000 all in one round. It's a good one, wasn't it? That round was as bad as the previous round. It was great. Yep. This 
going to be very, very interesting. Hello. Hello. It was a wonderful round for you. Yes, I think... Yes. Yes, I suppose taking £135,000 out of the game was... Um, yes, was good news for you. He wants you to fold your hand and leave the table. Uh, and he is offering you, despite the wanton destruction of the last round, <laughs> he is offering you now four and a half thousand pounds. It's a nice amount of money. It is a nice sum of money. It's a tantalizing sum of money, Nick, because you won't see that again if the 75,000 goes in the next round. Chances are I'm going to take Two of one colour, one of the other. I've just got to make it the right way around and keep the 75 there. Terry, what do you think about the chances? The offer's a low offer for what's there for the liability, but you are playing a one-number game. That's right. It's a one-number game, and it's poised right on the edge of all or nothing. It is. Down this round. You can ask me the question if you want now. I love the way you play this. Nick, four and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Okay. Come on, right. As Terry says, it is a one number game. We are going to have a groan to lift the roof off if we see 75,000 in the next three boxes. OK, away we go. I'll let number 18. We simply do not want to see 75,000 in box 18. I'll let, will you please open box 18? Poor luck. It is. The very thing we did not want to see, the 75,000. And the groan said it all. <sighs> Two deals ago, you turned down nine grand. It's yep. looking like a lot of money now. It certainly is. Your only hope to recover the situation is if 10,000 is in that box. It's the only way you'll get more than nine grand. Take Michael, number 19. Michael, would you please open box 19? This will be disastrous if it's 10 grand. Let's walk down the blue road, Nick. I hope so. Yep. Show us the blue road. Thousand. Oui, that'll do. I'm going to have to go with Vaughan, number 13. Vaughan, number 13, even though new players always seem to have the big numbers. Let's hope that that isn't the case. Good luck, mate. Seal off, open box 13. 10,000 it is. We've done it again. We've done it again. Another disastrous round. That is uncanny. And now 9,000 really has gone. It certainly has. Since you had your nine grand offer, you had seven reds in a row. That is appalling bad luck. For the second day running, we've had a player with appalling bad luck. Nick, I'm so sorry for you. It's all right. There'll be another opportunity, like I said. If I was meant to win today, I'd have won. I could still win £3,000. That's exactly. a lot of money to me. Exactly. And I could still win a penny. And I'll be the first person to do it. What can I say? Yeah, I just wouldn't want to be present when you take 1p home to Stacey. <laughs> hello, hello. Yes, for the second day running, you're spoiling my afternoon. Yes, it is, uh, it is the banker's year, as you say, yeah. OK. Oh, thank you. Oh, dear me, dear me, dear me. Wow! 
three hundred quid. Nice. I'm ready. Ready when you are. You don't want to ask anybody? No. 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 It's all it, or nothing now. Yeah. It is all or nothing. Yep. Three hundred pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. Very much. Right. You are due a change of luck. You have four blues that you can take out, and you only have to open three boxes. Dave, number six. Would you please open box six? Low and blue, please. Last eight I've had have been red. This has got to be blue. Three thousand. <laughs> incredible. I can't it. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> you keep smiling. I need to. If I don't smile, I cry. I think. Ah, uh, number twenty-one, Marie. Marie. What we do not want to see is the last chance for him to win something that begins with a pound sign because it's sitting there. Would you open box 21, please, Marie? I hope it's a penny. <laughs> 50B. <laughs> but at least you're not going away with 50 feet. I'll go for lucky seven. Lucky seven? Yep. On an afternoon which has had zero good fortune for Nick. I really, really hope it's a penny. I really do. <laughs> good luck, Nick. 10p! <laughs> Dear, dear, dear. Hello. Oh, stop it! <laughs> can I can hear him. Hear, yeah. I can hear him laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have given yourself a hernia. Thank you very much. Forty quid. Thirty. Oh. <laughs> See how I took it on 40. <laughs> <laughs> That's a spirit.